What's up everybody, Denver Gamer back today with another tutorial of Wii Hacks, hacking the Nintendo Wii for dummies. We are going to be doing Vectrex games today with the Vectrex Wii emulator. Now up front I want to tell you that this does not have sound support. This is more for you guys out there that are completionists. You want to get every game you can onto your Wii. They are still fun, but nobody has updated the emulator for sound support. So we're still waiting on that. But if you are on board with putting this on your Wii, let's get started. So go ahead and click on the link provided in the description and that will take you to this page on WeeBrew.org and it is the emulator download page with plenty of information about the Vectrex Wii emulator. There is your download link there. And further down here is information about the ROMs, the overlays, we will get to that in a second. There's information about the settings. And these guys are always awesome and put together information about the controls and how to control the game. And let's talk about this. So the next release was supposed to have sound support, fix bugs, button mapping, and fix the memory issues. Well, that was six years ago. But let's go ahead and download it anyway. So let's go ahead and click your download link here. And I use WinRAR. Open that up. You can use 7-zip. And we're going to extract this file here. To the SD card that you are using. Now at this point I'm pretty much expecting that you guys have a hang of this. We've been through 10 episodes now. Um, here we go. Extract to the SD card. And well, actually mine is F. That's right. And you're going to click OK. Now I've gone ahead and gotten all this stuff ready for this video. So I am going to exit out of this and show you my SD card. You will want to create a folder called VEC. We will get to that in a second, but let me show you in the apps folder. There is your emulator itself, the program to boot it, its image. Let's go back out here and open up the VEC folder. In this folder, you are going to need your ROMs and overlays. The Vectrex had overlays that you put on top of the screen, along with the screen itself, which had the sprites. So definitely a cool concept for the time. But to make these overlays work properly, there's four rules you need to follow. One is that you need to use PNG files. The second rule is that they need to be 388 by 480. So if you have bigger ones, you will need to resize them down. Three, the file names of the PNG file and ROM must match exactly. And four, they must all be in the VEC folder together. Follow those rules and it should work perfectly. Also, check this out. You can use any PNG file. So if you want a picture of your baby in the background, clouds, fire, any type of background you want, you can really use any PNG file. Just make sure it matches the name of the ROM and it's 388 by 480. Kind of cool. Also included here, I have five WADs, which are channel forwarders for your channels for your Wii. Go ahead and pick one. My favorite is this last one here at the bottom, the version two. But there's a link in the description that I uploaded to Mediafire, so you guys can download those and feel free to use those as well. So really, that's about it, guys. Um, this was a really cool video game system for its time, and it's cool that we can play that on the Wii now. Unfortunately, somebody needs to get some sound support. I don't know how to do it, but it would be pretty epic if we could get the bugs fixed and the sound support. But some games do play. So let's go ahead and hop on over to our Wii. So if you have not already watched my other videos on how to add a channel through Multimod Manager, go ahead and do that. 
or you can use the homebrew channel. But right here is the Vectrex channel, and that is really cool. That's my favorite version. Let's go ahead and start that up. And you can see here you have turn the Vectrex on, you have your cartridge, you can select um, SD card or USB. Uh, I'm going to, mm, let's do armor attack. Yeah, armor attack's fine. And you just go turn Vectrex on. And that's, now, if you don't uh, see your uh, tank or uh, ship or whatever, the white sprites, you need to change the opacity, and that is in the menu. You just click a button to do that. But it was already set up just fine for me. Unfortunately, there was no sound. That was a big bummer. But you can see I kind of suck. <laughs> and I keep getting killed. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. More Wii Hacks videos coming. Um, and I appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I guess, Shinrei, you guys can uh, take us out with some music since this emulator has none. Thanks, guys.